centuries, the Scottish town of Dundee was separated from the south by the Great River Tay. But the year 1878 gave Dundee reason for rejoicing. Her gracious majesty, Queen Victoria, had crossed the river by the newly opened railway bridge. 600 men had worked for six years to build this immense structure. An iron ribbon across the River Tay, the high girders and cast iron columns making it to the world's latest engineering wonder and its designer, Thomas Bouch, a knight of the realm. Eighteen months later, at Dundee Marshalling Yards, a locomotive of the North British Railway Company was ready to pull the Sunday mail train to Burnt Island Station and collect passengers off the ferry from Edinburgh. Passengers who travelled the windswept journey by ferry from Granton to Bent Island were relieved to enter the comfort of their gaslit carriages. As locomotive 224 prepares to leave, the stage was being set for one of the great dramas in railway history.
the light of morning revealed what was left of the great edifice of a few hours before. Thirteen spans of the high girders had gone, taking train, passengers and crew, along with the hopes and dreams of the bridge's designer, Sir Thomas Bouch, who took most of the blame and died a few short months later. The only survivor of the disaster was engine 224, which was dragged from the riverbed and after refitting, worked for another 45 years over the rebuilt Tay Railway Bridge, erected six years after the disaster. At low tide, the stumps of the old bridge are still visible, standing as a silent memorial to the events of a cold December night in 1879.